In the morning Mika woke up from bed and stretched slowly. Mika carefully washed his face, brushed its teeth, and sat down at the table ready to eat. But there were only some cookies and a note from mom. Dear baby, mother has to go out and can't get you breakfast. You eat cookies and I will probably come back this afternoon. Love you, mom. Mika didn't want to. It opened the cupboard to look for some honey but only found an empty jar. Maybe I should find the honey myself. Mika set off with the jar on it back. Mika asked the bird and the frog, but they didn't know where the honey was. Mika was so hungry, its stomach was making a growling noise. Who is disturbing my sleep? A wildflower was awakened by the bear's belly. Stretching its leaves lazily asked, I'm sorry to bother you. I was just looking for honey. Mika hesitated to explain. I think you should ask the bees. But be careful. They're a bunch of rude little guys. Look at them there. The wildflower pointed to a tree. There was a yellow honeycomb. Surrounded by countless small bees, Mika closed his eyes and followed the scent of honey. In the air to the tree, it held out honey jar, asked the little bee, Mr. Bee, could you please give me some honey? The bees flashed their tail spikes when they saw someone coming. Mika was so scared that it threw away jar and fled the forest. Mika ran and ran and ran into a warm embrace. It was mom. Mika cried as it hugged her mother. Mom, the bee is so scary. Mother touched Mika's head. The bees are afraid of hurting you. They have a sharp needle at the end. They will hurt anyone who touches them. Mika nodded. I get it, Mom. I will never go near a bee again. Don't interrupt their work. Mother Bear smiled and took Mika's hand and walked on the way home. Boys and girls. So much for the story of the bees. Don't want to play with bees in the wild. Just because they're cute.